In the heart of Switzerland, beneath the breathtaking vistas of the Jura Mountains, lies an enigmatic scientific colossus, CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research. For decades, it has been a crucible of human curiosity, where scientists have pursued the fundamental secrets of our universe. Amidst this scientific renaissance, CERN has halted its audacious LHC experiment, raising questions about hidden revelations that may reshape our cosmic comprehension. But does this pause foretell a revelation challenging our understanding of the universe or a more ominous revelation? The world anxiously awaits as whispers of doomsday scenarios linger. Join us on a journey through CERN's history where groundbreaking discoveries redefine physics and the LHC's pause hints at something both extraordinary and foreboding. Inside the LHC's underground wonderland, the Large Hadron Collider, commonly referred to as the Atom Smasher, has consistently captivated the global community with its remarkable scientific breakthroughs and impressive scale. Prior to its existence, our comprehension of the cosmos resembled an enigmatic puzzle riddled with absent components. There were so many unanswered questions and untested ideas. It was a time when we couldn't see the fundamental laws that govern our universe clearly. It was as if the secrets of our cosmic home were hidden behind a mysterious curtain, and scientists were left wondering about the enigmas just beyond their grasp. Our knowledge of the laws of physics, though somewhat complete, still left us with an incomplete picture of our cosmic neighborhood. But then, something incredible happened with the birth of the LHC. It was like a turning point in the history of science. The fog of uncertainty lifted, and a new era of exploration and enlightenment began. This era would change the course of our world forever. The famous Large Hadron Collider, located at CERN near Geneva, Switzerland, roared back to life in April 2022 after taking a three-year break for major upgrades and maintenance. This momentous event marked the start of an exciting scientific journey called Run 3. This endeavor promised a series of mind-blowing experiments that would capture the attention of people worldwide until 2024. CERN, in collaboration with over 10,000 scientists from hundreds of universities and laboratories across numerous countries, built this colossal and high-energy particle collider between 1998 and 2008. It's nestled inside a 27-kilometer tunnel, about 175 meters below the border of France and Switzerland near Geneva. Now, as CERN gears up to resume its experiments, there's a sense of both anticipation and unease. The LHC holds the power to unlock incredible secrets of the universe, but it also comes with great responsibility and potential risks. As the world watches, we embark on another exciting chapter in the quest to unravel the mysteries of our cosmos. Beneath the Earth's surface, hidden away like a secret world, lies the circular tunnel that houses the colossal collider. It's not just any tunnel, it's a marvel of engineering that varies in depth, plunging anywhere from 50 to 175 meters below the ground. Why such a roller coaster of depths, you ask? Well, it's all part of a grand plan to keep Mother Nature happy and save some serious cash. Instead of digging straight down with a giant expensive shaft, they decided to snake the tunnel through the earth at different depths. It's like taking a scenic route through the Jura Mountains without disturbing the landscape too much. This tunnel wizardry isn't just about saving money, it's also about Mother Earth lending a helping hand. You see, the Earth's own crust provides a natural shield against pesky background radiation. So, while scientists are cooking up experiments down there, they've got an extra layer of protection. This underground wonderland, stretching a whopping 8 meters wide, came to life between 1983 and 1988. And just in case you thought it was all dirt and rocks down there, think again. The tunnel is dressed up with concrete walls, making it sturdy enough to handle all the science shenanigans going on inside. But wait, there's more! This tunnel isn't just a straight shot, it's like a secret passageway between Switzerland and France. At four special spots, it crosses the border, but for most of its journey, it's snugly tucked within French territory. And there's a surface-level hangout, too. It's not as glamorous as the underground lab, but it's essential. This is where they keep all the extra gear things like compressors to keep the air fresh, ventilation systems to make sure everyone can breathe, control gadgets to steer the experiments, and fridges to keep those scientific goodies chilled. 
LHC Magnet Quench Incident Every year, the LHC generates a colossal 15 petabytes of data thanks to its incredible experiments and simulations. To handle this massive data flood, the LHC decided to supercharge its capabilities by adding a high-tech computing grid right into its core design. Building this scientific marvel was no small feat. It gobbled up a staggering 7.5 billion euros during its construction phase. To put that into perspective, it's one of the most expensive scientific tools ever created. When they first dreamed it up in 1995, they budgeted a mere 2.6 billion euros for it. But as they got closer to making it a reality, they realized they needed an extra 210 million euros for experiments. Fast forward to September 10, 2008, the day the LHC roared to life. But hold on to your hats, because there was a hiccup in the beginning. A magnet quench incident caused some serious damage, affecting more than 50 superconducting magnets and other important parts. This setback put them 14 months behind schedule, adding even more suspense to an already eagerly anticipated experiment. Finally, in 2010, the LHC made its grand debut with a bang, or rather, a collision. It smashed particles together at an energy level of 3.5 tera electron volts per beam, which nearly quadrupled the previous world record. It was like the grand opening of a cosmic roller coaster. But they didn't stop there. The LHC got some major upgrades, boosting its energy capacity to a mind-boggling 6.5 tera electron volts per beam. It's like turning up the dial to explore new frontiers of physics. The LHC has four special spots where particles speed up and crash into each other. We call them crossing points. Around these points, there are seven carefully crafted detectors, like scientific surveillance cameras, capturing every twist and turn of the action. Now, while the LHC is known for proton-proton collisions, it can also accelerate heavy ions. Every year, they set aside a month for experiments involving different types of collisions. It's like switching gears in a high-speed race. But why do all of this? Well, it's about pushing the boundaries of our understanding. Physicists use the LHC to test their wild theories about the tiniest building blocks of the universe. It's like a giant microscope that helps us confirm if our ideas about particles and the universe are right. Exploring the quirky world of hadrons at the LHC. The Large Hadron Collider, or LHC, is a fascinating scientific instrument. Its primary mission is to help us understand the universe at its most fundamental level. But what's most thrilling is how it helps us unlock the secrets of the Higgs boson and explore a whole bunch of new particles that are predicted by a theory called supersymmetry. Now let's break this down a bit. The term hadron might sound a bit fancy, but it simply refers to tiny particles made up of even tinier parts called quarks. These quarks are held together by a really strong force, sort of like how magnets stick together. This force is similar to what holds atoms and molecules together. Some famous examples of hadrons are protons and neutrons, which are the building blocks of atoms, and mesons like the pion and k meson. These were first discovered during experiments with cosmic rays in the late 1940s and early 1950s. But what makes the LHC so special is that it's not just any particle accelerator, it's a collider. Imagine two cars speeding towards each other and crashing. That's kind of what the LHC does, but with tiny particles. It smashes two beams of particles into each other, creating some incredible collisions. Building a collider like the LHC is no easy task, but it's totally worth it. These machines let scientists achieve much higher collision energies than other methods. This is like using a super-powered microscope to see the tiniest details of the universe. When particles collide at these super-high energies, they create all sorts of other particles as byproducts. These byproducts are like clues that help us understand how the subatomic world works and the rules that govern it. Some of these particles are really unstable and disappear quickly, so colliders are the only way to study them. One of the most important particles that the LHC helps us study is the Higgs boson. This little guy is a big deal in physics because it plays a crucial role in our understanding of how the universe works. It's been a bit elusive due to its mass and complexity, but CERN scientists believed the LHC could create lots of Higgs bosons if they existed, which would confirm our theories. But the LHC isn't just about the Higgs boson. 
It's also a treasure trove for exploring supersymmetry and other intriguing particles that were previously just ideas on paper. El CERN just shut down and something weird no one can explain is happening. You see, after its initial three-year run, the LHC embarked on an extended shutdown for necessary upgrades, which lasted until the year 2015. With the upgrades completed, the second operational phase kicked off, spanning from 2015 to 2018. However, another substantial shutdown was required, stretching all the way until 2022. Then, in April 2022, the LHC roared back to life, boasting an upgraded maximum beam energy of 6.5 tera electron volts. And this operational phase was scheduled to persist until 2026. Yet, the scientific community was taken aback by an enigmatic occurrence during the third run of the Large Hadron Collider on July 7th. A peculiar crack manifested within Earth's magnetic field, setting it apart from a fleeting lightning bolt. Astonishingly, this mysterious rift endured for a staggering 14 hours. This prolonged opening provided a gateway for potent solar winds to breach our planet's defenses, triggering substantial geomagnetic storms that painted the heavens with captivating and awe-inspiring auroras. The geomagnetic storm induced by this peculiar crack produced an aurora of such breathtaking beauty that even seasoned scientists found it nearly impossible to tear their eyes away. Nevertheless, a fundamental question lingered. What had caused this sudden crack, and what did it have to do with the LHC? Curiously, the emergence of this rift can be attributed to a rare and intriguing phenomenon known as a corotating interaction region, CIIR, originating from the Sun. In the captivating realm of outer space, there are awe-inspiring occurrences known as coronal mass ejections and co-rotating interaction regions. These remarkable phenomena involve the movement of charged particles within the expansive region around the Sun, referred to as the heliosphere. Imagine a colossal CME, a solar storm of monumental proportions, concealed within the solar wind and hurtling toward our Earth. As it approaches, it brings along shockwaves and compressed magnetic fields, which combine to create turbulent space weather. This celestial dance often treats us to captivating natural light displays in the form of auroras. Earth's encounter with the July 7th solar storm. On the early morning of July 7th, a CIR had a significant impact on Earth's magnetic field, leading to a sustained G-1 class geomagnetic storm. Scientists from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration promptly assessed the situation and made an intriguing discovery. A CME had been concealed within the solar wind just before the arrival of this co-rotating interaction region. Now the crucial question arises, should the public be concerned about this disturbance in Earth's magnetic field? Experts in the field are here to reassure us that there is no need for alarm. These breaches in Earth's magnetic shield, similar to gaps in a house during a storm, are not uncommon. This protective magnetic field typically redirects the majority of solar storms emanating from the powerful sun. However, occasional breaches allow some cosmic energy to pass through. Think of it as a storm causing indoor damage despite having a few windows open. Similarly, while the magnetic shield predominantly safeguards us from space storms, occasional cosmic energy seepage may lead to disruptions in satellite communication and power systems. Nevertheless, this recent breach did not result in radio or power failures. Instead, it treated fortunate residents of Canada and the U.S. to a mesmerizing display of the northern lights, painting the night sky with vibrant colors. This celestial occurrence, while a reminder of the universe's immense power, also bestowed upon us a captivating spectacle, underscoring the enchanting and unpredictable marvels of space. Unveiling Cosmic Secrets and Conspiracy Theories In a surprising twist of cosmic events, scientists have revealed that our Sun is gearing up for an exceptionally active phase in its solar cycle, arriving earlier than expected. This celestial excitement promises a delightful spectacle for stargazers, an increased likelihood of witnessing the awe-inspiring auroras over the next three years. But as the scientific community celebrated this revelation, the achievements of the LHC extended beyond its role in unlocking the secrets of the universe. It inadvertently became a focal point of both fervent curiosity and concern. 
As the quest for answers deepened, so did the voices of those who questioned the potential consequences of tampering with the divine mysteries of the cosmos. The LHC, a tool for expanding our understanding of the universe, found itself entangled in a web of apprehensions about the unknown. Some, in the depths of their imagination, believed that the LHC might be a hidden portal to the netherworld, capable of unleashing demons and nightmarish creatures into our tangible reality. Others entertain the notion that this colossal machine conceals a formidable weapon with the power to obliterate our entire planet at the mere flip of a switch. And then there are those who weave intricate conspiracies, suggesting that the LHC is part of a grand governmental scheme designed to manipulate minds and transform us into unquestioning automatons. According to their theories, the particle collisions within the LHC are not just about science, but part of a covert experiment aimed at shaping a new world order, where survival is a privilege of the elite. At the heart of these apocalyptic musings lies the concept of a false vacuum, a theoretical state where energy remains restless at its lowest level. The LHC's potential to trigger such a phenomenon could, in their eyes, lead to a cascade of catastrophic events, wiping out everything we hold dear. In this age of scientific exploration and conspiracy theories, the boundary between fact and fiction becomes ever more blurred, leaving us to wonder about the profound mysteries that both the cosmos and human imagination continue to unfold. The Looming Black Hole Risk of the LHC While the idea of a doomsday scenario might sound like something out of science fiction, it's not entirely impossible. The experiments conducted at the LHC have the potential to create conditions that could lead to the emergence of something called a false vacuum. This could, in turn, result in the formation of black holes that could swallow entire galaxies. The consequences of a false vacuum are so significant that they could change our understanding of the universe. Much like the dramatic event of Thanos' snap in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, where half of everything disappeared. In this scenario, the universe could collapse into nothingness. Why might the Large Hadron Collider pose a risk of creating black holes that could potentially threaten Earth? Originally designed by the European Organization for Nuclear Research to advance particle physics, the LHC was not intended to generate black holes. It initially confirmed the standard model of particle physics, notably discovering quarks within protons at the Stanford Linear Accelerator in 1968. These findings led to the construction of the LHC, a massive project costing $9 billion. The LHC consists of a 27-kilometer tunnel, nine times larger than its predecessor, housing around 10,000 superconducting magnets that maintain extremely low temperatures. By accelerating proton beams close to the speed of light and inducing collisions with energy levels of 7 tera electron volts, 140 times more powerful than the Stanford Accelerator, the LHC enables exploration at unprecedented scales. Although concerns about potential black hole formation arose during its construction in 1988, esteemed astrophysicist Martin Rees raised the possibility of quantum black holes forming from energy concentration, a theory countered by Stephen Hawking, who argued that the LHC's collision energy was far below the threshold for such events. However, debate persists due to alternative theories suggesting higher energy thresholds could trigger catastrophic events. The interplay of theoretical physics, advanced engineering, and complex energies makes the implications of the LHC a captivating and contentious subject. Recent media stories suggested the sudden emergence of a quantum black hole near Geneva, consuming Europe within moments. However, prevailing scientific theory asserts that quantum black holes lack the gravitational force to engulf matter, instead dissipating rapidly as Hawking radiation. It's time for today's subscriber pick. On July 7th, during the third run of the Large Hadron Collider, something extraordinary unfolded, leaving the scientific community in sheer astonishment. It wasn't a mere lightning bolt. It was a peculiar crack within Earth's protective magnetic shield. What's more, this enigmatic rift endured for a staggering 14 hours. This prolonged opening acted as a cosmic gateway, allowing potent solar winds to breach our planet's defenses, setting the stage for a mesmerizing display in the night sky. As a consequence, immense geomagnetic storms graced our planet, 
painting the heavens with captivating and awe-inspiring auroras. These celestial displays were so breathtaking that even seasoned scientists struggled to divert their gaze. Yet a fundamental question loomed. What had triggered this sudden crack, and was it in any way connected to the LHC's experiments? The answer, it turns out, lies in a rare and intriguing phenomenon called a corotating interaction region, originating from the sun. But the mystery deepens. What secrets does this solar connection hold? And how does it intertwine with the mysteries of particle physics explored by the LHC? Could this be a celestial invitation for us to explore the unknown realms of both our planet and the cosmos beyond? The captivating dance of science and nature continues, leaving us with more questions than answers. Let us know what you think about what we just showed you, the 59 New Hadrons of 2021. On July 2017, the world witnessed a remarkable moment in science. Researchers unveiled a treasure trove of knowledge, all gathered in 2016. They delved deep into the secrets of the Higgs boson, and their findings became sharper and more precise. But the real fireworks began in March 2021. That's when the LHC experiments dropped a bombshell. They discovered a whopping 59 new hadrons, hidden within the vast sea of data collected during the collider's first two operational phases. This was a huge milestone. Fast forward to July 2nd, 2022, a day that will be etched in scientific history. On this day, researchers reported the sighting of an entirely new pentaquark, a particle made up of a charm quark, a charm antiquark, an up quark, a down quark, and a strange quark. They spotted this unique pentaquark while closely examining how certain particles, called charged B mesons, change over time. In the world of particle physics, as experiments progress, it becomes harder and harder to stumble upon groundbreaking discoveries. It's like searching for hidden gems. As you find more, the rarity diminishes. To combat this, scientists have a clear plan. Upgrade everything. They want to boost the machine's power, making it more potent in every way. One of the big ideas is cranking up the collision energy to a whopping 14 tera electron volts. This ambitious upgrade project, known as the High Luminosity Large Hadron Collider, kicked off in June 2018. Its main goal? To increase the brightness of the machine, which essentially means increasing the chances of spotting rare events and making those tricky measurements more precise. Imagine it as a quest for the rarest jewels in the universe, with scientists fine-tuning their tools and machines to ensure that no precious discoveries slip through their grasp. It's like turning up the spotlight to find the hidden treasures of the subatomic world. From cosmic soup to mass creation, the third run of the Large Hadron Collider marks a crucial phase in its grand mission. To appreciate its significance, let's journey through its history. In run one, there was a monumental moment, the discovery of the long-awaited Higgs boson. This tiny particle, like a cosmic puzzle piece, was finally found. Then came Run 2, where the Higgs boson unveiled its secrets. It showed us how it decays, proving its role as the source of mass in the universe. To really understand Higgs boson, we must rewind to the universe's birth, the aftermath of the Big Bang. Back then, it was a wild mix of particles, energy, and radiation, a cosmic soup. But as the universe cooled and expanded, something remarkable occurred. The enigmatic Higgs field woke up, a cosmic energy field that fills space itself. This field has a unique property. It interacts with particles as they move through it, giving them mass, like a cosmic stickiness. This interaction with the pervasive Higgs field is crucial. Without it, particles would be massless, and our universe would look nothing like what we see today. The structures, stars, galaxies, and even ourselves all depend on this Higgs field. And here's where the Higgs boson steps onto the cosmic stage. It's a tiny particle, but it's intimately connected to this Higgs field like a messenger of mass in our universe. Imagine the Higgs boson as the universe's clever solution to a tricky problem, the problem of giving everything in the universe its own unique mass or weight. It's like the magical ingredient that makes all other particles gain their mass. But here's the really exciting part. The Higgs boson does more than just that. Without it, particles would zip around at the speed of light, causing chaos. 
atoms, molecules, chemistry, and even biology as we know it wouldn't exist. The entire reality we're familiar with would be completely different, and we wouldn't be here to observe it. Think of it like this. Without the Higgs field, particles would be stuck in a never-ending race at the crazy speed of light. They'd be like sprinters who can never slow down or take a break. The discovery of the Higgs boson was a huge deal in the world of particle physics. It was so significant that it earned Peter Higgs and Francois Englert the Nobel Prize in Physics back in 2013. But the quest to uncover the universe's secrets is far from over. Scientists are still digging deeper, and there's even talk of a potential fifth fundamental force in the universe. This adds another layer of excitement and mystery to the ongoing research in particle physics. We're on an incredible journey to understand the very fabric of our existence, and the Higgs boson is a crucial piece of that mind-boggling puzzle. The Dark Matter Conundrum Dark matter, a mysterious substance that makes up a big part of the universe, continues to baffle scientists. Figuring out what it really is and how it behaves is a top goal for physicists. And here's where it gets exciting. Cracking the dark matter code might reveal brand new forces or interactions in the universe, helping us solve the secrets it holds. The Higgs boson, often called the God particle. It's a superstar in the world of particle physics. Its discovery at the Large Hadron Collider was a massive deal. It basically proved that there's something called the Higgs field, which gives particles their mass. This discovery was like turning on a light in a dark room. But here's the thrilling part. As we dig deeper into the Higgs boson, it could unlock more universe secrets. We're talking about understanding dark matter better, and maybe even finding more forces we didn't know existed. It's like using one key to open multiple doors to the unknown in the cosmos. The universe has so much more to reveal, and the Higgs boson might just be the key to unlock its hidden treasures. The Grand Experiment CERN is gearing up for an extraordinary leap forward with the upcoming third run of the LHC. This ambitious undertaking showcases the unwavering commitment of the scientific community to push the boundaries of our understanding of the universe. The data collected during this new run will not merely double, but will be twice as vast as what we've amassed so far. Additionally, the collision rate will skyrocket tenfold, setting the stage for monumental breakthroughs in experimental particle physics. What's the driving force behind this colossal effort? It's the pursuit of the rare, the validation of existing theories, and the relentless quest for the unknown. Researchers are poised to explore phenomena that are exceptionally uncommon, all while verifying the theories we've come to rely on and hunting for entirely new physics that transcends the limits of the standard model. But such a grand endeavor doesn't just happen by chance. CERN is taking an extended hiatus until 2029, a testament to their meticulous approach. During this time, they'll focus on careful planning, essential maintenance, and crucial upgrades to guarantee the LHC's continued reliability and safety. After all, an instrument of this magnitude demands precision and unwavering attention to detail. What's the ultimate goal? It's to transform the LHC into a fully matured scientific powerhouse, boasting an astonishing increase in collision rates. With this enhanced capability, we're on the brink of unveiling particles, forces, or phenomena that have thus far remained hidden from our view, slipping through the cracks of previous runs. It's the tireless dedication, coupled with remarkable technological advancements, that inches us ever closer to unraveling some of the universe's most profound mysteries. This marks the beginning of the fourth run, projected to span until 2042, culminating in a data set nearly ten times larger than what we can expect at the end of this remarkable third run. The future of particle physics has never looked more promising. The LHC's Gradual Evolution of Understanding Gazing ahead at the upcoming fourth round of the LHC, there's an exciting promise on the horizon. This round holds the potential to confirm and build upon theories and ideas that may arise from the experiments and analysis of the third round. It's like a series of stepping stones, each one taking us further in our quest for scientific knowledge. As we peer into the future, we see the LHC's journey as a continuous progression, with each phase building upon the last. It's an unbroken chain of scientific discovery, reaching deeper into the mysteries of the universe. 
The LHC's evolution is gradual but tantalizing, offering new revelations with every step it takes, from the third run and beyond. Each run adds a piece to the puzzle of our understanding, systematically expanding the boundaries of our knowledge and giving us unprecedented access to the hidden complexities of the cosmos. The third run links the achievements of the past to the potential frontiers waiting to be explored. While the journey unfolds one step at a time, it carries the potential to revolutionize our understanding of how the universe works. In the ongoing story of the LHC program, the spirit of scientific inquiry is alive and well, methodically unraveling the mysteries of the cosmos through each collision event. As we delve deeper into the subatomic realm, we come closer to unveiling the profound secrets of the universe. This journey is fueled by the dedication of brilliant minds and the remarkable capabilities of the LHC. The third run is a pivotal chapter, setting the stage for the insights, revelations, and paradigm-shifting breakthroughs that lie ahead. As the exploration continues, the world watches with anticipation, eager to witness the next chapter in the story of the Large Hadron Collider and the discoveries that await in the realm of particle physics. It's a thrilling narrative of human curiosity and ingenuity, and the LHC is our portal to a deeper understanding of the cosmos. Do you think the concerns about doomsday scenarios related to CERN's experiments are scientifically valid? Let us know what you think in the comments below.